next guest mixes inexpensive eclectic items like beads, charms, chains, and even feathers to make the whimsical necklaces that you see here on these uh, wonderful models. To make one-of-a-kind necklaces for yourself or a friend, you can visit our online store, Bocage, and uh, have fun picking out just what you'd like to use to personalize a necklace. I'm wearing one. I think it's really chic. Well, today she's going to show us her technique for making the beaded flower necklace that we're both wearing. Please welcome Stephanie Bodon. Hi. Am I saying that right, Bodine? Oh, Bodine, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. So it's uh, what inspired you to start making uh, necklaces? Well, it's all about the bead spinner yeah. tool here. I mean, I started doing the beaded flowers by hand and um, read about this tool in a French beaded flower book. And this is magic, this tool. I, um, I, it's the first time I saw it. Then when uh, Lenore brought it back to me and said, Martha, you want to try? It's awesome. And it's the best. Now, look at this. You know how if you had to really do this by hand, you I, I used to just put the beads in my hand like this. Right. And then painstakingly find the holes and do it like this. It took quite a long time, especially if you're using, look at look how long that takes to get five beads on. It's ridiculous. Yes, you it is. speed it up. So, so the first thing you do is you've you got to pour your beads okay. in. Okay. Now, this, fill up where, your where is this a tool from? Um, you can get these on my website. Oh, okay. Yeah. But were they invented where? In oh, well, I've heard all kinds of stories. Oh. Like people were making them in their garages and really getting into it. So now it. What, what do we the do? The first thing you need to do is take, we're using 24 gauge wire. Okay. And you need to take the end, make it nice and smooth, and make a hook shape around the center like well, a cane. Oh, okay. And then a open real, it up a little. A so it's like puff. this shape. Yeah. Okay, so. And then what you got to do is... Find your sweet spot. Find your angle. I kind of go to the side here like this. You put it, oh, you put the hook yep. facing out. Yeah, like towards the inside of the Mine bowl. won't go that way. Mine wants to go the other way. <laughs> Just give it a spin. Okay. And you'll see so. that the beads go right up the spinner. So cool. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, isn't that the funnest <laughs> thing you ever did see? Yeah. Look, ah! And we're working with the tray because they fly all over. It's fun. Oh, they you do. just let your inhibitions go. Okay. We're going to string a whole length, like an arm's length worth okay. of seed beads. And then what you want to do once I'm you've strung them. I'm not getting mine right here. Let it see. takes practice. I did not. I, I did do better it the, first the first time. time. Yeah, you really got to practice, was... and you got to get a feel for it too. Yeah. And then be sure to knot the end of your wire when you're strung so that they don't fly off. Oh, now it's working better. Look. And then oh. the, what you want to do is start making Look. petals. Butts. Totally Fantastic. Fun. Oh, it's yeah. so much fun. So you don't know who invented this? Well, Sounds I've genius. heard all kinds of stories. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like French beaded flowers are so traditional. Right. This must tool have been, must, must have... be French. Yeah. So, okay, what you need to do is start making your petals. Okay. And you're going to take about an inch of the seed beads and leave some wire at the end for your stem later. That'll make sense. Okay. And, an inch? Yeah, about an inch. Okay. And you're going to just loop a petal into you know, like a U shape, and then twist it twice. And you okay. don't want to over twist your wire or it'll snap. It'll snap, yeah. okay. So, you know, you just keep doing that. And, um, okay. you know, just try and make them kind of close together if you can, make your loops. And then you're gonna do that for the entire length of okay. your stranded mm, beads. Pretty. Yeah. So you just keep making yeah, loops. Yeah, you keep going until you, you've done your whole length and you get toward the end. and. What you need to do is make little baby petals. These are going to be your connection loops to connect the flower to the chain later. So it'll make sense. They're going to be about half the size. Okay. You want like two or three, and you're just going to so I have make a little your swap loop out here and twist. Yes. Okay. So once you've done that, you've got all your petals here, your baby petals at the end, and then you're going to coil your whole flower. So the inside is going to be where you started your big petals and just wrap it around as tight as you can. Just coil it on itself. Okay, just yes. like this? Yep. Okay. And let's mm -hmm. see here. Oh, my wire's caught, so I'm just going to snip it. Basically, All of this is so much fun, and you wonder how people did this. And you know what? There's always a solution. Yeah. And it's quite amazing. What it just are, enables two you to little make ones more. Are, those two little ones are for where? They're going to be on the back. So oh. those end up at the bottom, and you coil it to a flower, and then twist your two ends together. Okay. And you want it to be tight. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you need a center bead for this. Definitely. So you can pick out whichever one you like. I like this. Uh, well, the oh, rhinestone I have works. A, I have a beautiful... 
Yeah, that's a vintage okay. plastic bead. So this goes right down into the center? Yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to string it and then you're going to just twist it in a U shape and then put it right in the middle of your flower and pull it okay. tight and then twist those together. So are you making all of this jewelry and selling it online? Yeah, well, I su sell the supplies mostly online oh, okay. to other designers because I'm just very passionate about materials. Okay. So now we need to add embellishment to this because more is more. We need a flourish. So, so we've added some flowers. And use a piece of floral tape. Yes. What we did was we made clusters and I... What I'd like to do is Oh, that just looks like my guinea hen. Yeah, and that's what these are. That's the guinea it. hen flower oh, uh, yes. feathers. And then the dark is what? Uh, those that's are cocktail. Cock, cock, cock's tails. Yes. Yes. And you can do any that mix. That looks like one of my chickens, too. I should just save all my feathers, you right? Totally and wash should. them, yeah. Yeah, and we use some pheasant, yeah. and you just want to strip the bottom to expose the stem okay. and cluster Wire them. them all together, and then uh -huh. how do you finish this off? Then you just add some floral tape, just like we've done here. Wrap it up. Yep. You know, you pull it tight, and then um, basically you just need to attach your chain. So what you do is you take the jump rings. So if you have a beautiful old gold chain, you could use that, or you can buy chain mm -hmm. like this. Yep, it's always great is, to deconstruct. Which is not real gold, right? This is brass. Okay. Yeah, and I like brass because it can oxidize and, and it looks just... more vintage. You just take your jump rings, and you need to open it up out like this instead of this way so right. it doesn't kink and then you just find your remember those little baby petals yes that we oh, made? okay use That's those as the connects. attachments yeah how fabulous and there you have a very very fabulous necklace well thank you so much stephanie thank Bowden, you. um for teaching us this wonderful wonderful technique and introducing us to this fantastic bead stringer and uh for you in the audience everybody is going to be taking a bead stringer home so you can practice with Great, thank you so much. Wonderful. And there you have the gorgeous necklace. We'll be right back.